Hi folks, Sandeep here with Nozomi Networks. Thanks for tuning in today. We're gonna to spend the next few minutes talking about how easy it is to generate automated reports from your Guardian. So the first thing you're gonna do is log into a Guardian that has data in it. You've got assets, you've got nodes, you've got alerts, you've got things like that populating in the database. We're simply gonna to go to our analysis tab and click on reports. From here, the reporting engine kicks in and we have a number of different tabs, as you can see. I'm gonna go here and click on management. I have no reports built out at this point because I wanna do that fresh with you guys. So we're gonna spend the next couple of minutes building out four different report templates that are built into the tool out of the box. So the first one is the alert report. So we're just gonna give this a name, call it sample alert report. I'm gonna leave everything else the default for the time being and just click on okay. So you'll notice immediately we come to this document here. You can see that it's very highly editable. So if I want to change some text or add and remove fields, um, add new widgets, very easy to do that. And as we scroll down this document, you can see we start off with an executive summary um, again, keep in mind, this was the alerts report. So we've got number of assets. We can see the different vendors. I can get into the operating systems, firmware versions. And then we start to break into the alert summary. It's quite detailed. I'm just gonna scroll through it quickly now for the sake of brevity for a video, but you can check out the details that we're bringing to the table here. Everything you're gonna wanna know about alerts, from a reporting perspective, what's been opened, what's been closed, severities, things of that nature. So that's built in report number one, the alert report. Second report we're gonna do is an asset inventory report. So we're just gonna simply give this a name, leave everything else as it is for the time being and click on okay. You'll notice asset inventory report looks very similar to the alert report, same editability and functionality. But now as you scroll through this, we are focused exclusively on the different types of assets. Firmware versions, make model, serial number, IP addresses, all that information that we have in the database, we're bringing it out into this report. Third report we're gonna quickly look at is the CIS controls report. I'm just gonna call this sample CIS report, leave everything else as is. We now have top 20 critical security controls overview. So again, a little bit of text there. As we scroll down, we jump into the key findings. I can see my operating systems, firmwares, and now a list of each control, as well as the devices relating to that, where we have mappings. So fairly thorough, very comprehensive. Again, out of the box, this report is built in. The last one I wanna talk about is the vulnerabilities report. So again, we're just gonna give this a name here, leave everything else default. And now we have the vulnerability assessment report. So taking all the information from the database, looking at things like malware detected, different operating systems, firmware versions, SMB, insecure protocols, um, you know, all that great stuff you're gonna wanna know out of this sort of report. As we scroll down here, we start to get into some of the network security components, and then we move into host level things. As you can see here, things like VNC and RDP connections, in insecure versions of SMB, and so on and so forth. This one is a little bit more detailed. Um, vulnerabilities tend to be a little longer. So as I scroll down here, you know, breaking it down, CVSS score, our likelihoods, which nodes are impacted, lots of graphs, lots of great information. So there you go, four easy reports that are built into the tool. Really quickly, before we finish up here, I wanna show you what we can do as a next step. So great, we've got this report, perfect. I need to now be able to share this. Anytime you're on a report, you can simply, simply click on generate report. I'm going to bring you up to the next screen here. We have three different ways that we can deal with this type of information. Number one, I can create a PDF report on it. Nice and easy to share. It's nice and polished. It looks clean. It can't be edited. Further to that, 
We allow you to download in both CSV and Excel format. Quite often, especially for things like vulnerabilities, the intended recipient may want to copy and paste chunks of information from one document to another. So with CSV and Excel, it makes it easier to import export. Next option we have is surrounding report execution. So of course we can do these on demand right now. I log into the tool, I need to look up something specific. I create a report, I wanna execute it now. Perfect. Second thing we can do though is schedule it. So now I can start creating reports that are important to different people within the organization. For instance, I can have a vulnerability report sent to the SOC once a week, right? Automate this out on a weekly basis that gets sent to the SOC. We can have asset inventory reports, go to site specific asset owners at a particular interval. So we can have a list of all the assets at site A get sent to a particular manager at site A and so on and so forth. So we can start to get very granular with the data set we're using and who's going to receive it. Again, to schedule something, I'm just gonna select weekly. In this case, I want this report to go on Fridays. I'm gonna give this any random name and we get to choose who is going to receive this report. Now, this can be individuals, this can be aliases, doesn't matter, just need to be comma separated. So very easy to not only accumulate this information, compile it into reports, and then be able to distribute it off box. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As well, if you hit the alert notification bell, you will be notified when we have fresh content coming out on the channel. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon.